For the item weapon, let's go ahead and go to the plus on this. We'll go to our tiles default set. When you go down to the item weapon, we're going to do the item weapon gun. Now this one's going to, the basics behind it are going to be for all four different types. So we'll do one setup full and then we'll just do like a copy paste for the others and then change properties. So basically when it comes to this one, this is going to have all the different parts and pieces. Uh, when it comes to the pickup, the put down, when it has for like as a for instance for the weapon, there are a lot of different states, and each state is going to be an eight directional state. You'll have everything from charge, charging, cooldown, cooldown, uh, reloading, empty firing, hit, um, a lot of different stuff that makes this up. This is very full system on the animation side so when you start in on a weapon you can just put a single image in and say that you just want to use a bullet that comes from the player or um, something similar to that uh, or at the same time you can start to increase the amount of things that are available to it by using a lot of different ones so again these I'll just keep scrolling down so you can see a few more here uh, these are going to be a lot of the different type uh, that you could actually place into it and along with those, we'll go ahead and push the select folder. Uh, along with those, um, they all come with, uh, it's a primary and secondary uh, firing option. So it means that you have two different modes to actually uh, shoot something out. So you'll have a single item that you carry, but then you'll have two, um, two ways of actually visually showing the use of it. All right, so let's go ahead and click on our uh, weapon icon here, the little gun, and we'll scroll down to the bottom here for our item weapon. So the item weapon on this one, um, I'm just going to go in here and say item weapon, and uh, you could say hand, we could do like a, a handgun option there for it. All right, general settings, we'll go ahead and say the receive light will turn off. And then the image for pickup, we'll say is going to be a negative two. Frames per second, we'll drop it down to six. Let's go ahead and scroll down to our thumbnail here. So if you notice this long list, all of these have a place inside of the weapon. And it actually just comes down to whether or not you want to uh, create all the images um, for the particular weapons. Uh, they actually, see, we'll turn off our collider here. Uh, they're, it's totally worth it, but it does take time on the development side to make sure that you have everything set up for it. All right, we're going to turn our trigger settings on to enable. And it'll be by player, meaning that the player can pick it up. For the um, trigger state, uh, there is an enable and disable, so we'll say that when the player walks away from it, if they picked it up and then put it down. All right, now at this point, uh, two things could happen. One, you could say that the team ID is specific for this weapon. You could also say on the trigger uh, team ID here that the person who can actually pick it up is specific to a person. So if you have a enemy and you don't want them to pick up a weapon that the player can use, you would actually start setting up uh, team IDs so that specific ones can or can't be used for it. There is also a bullet ID that, that looks for a team ID, which would be saying that uh, uh, if you have two or three weapons that are four players on one team versus the other, then you would actually set up the team ID to be specific for it. And then you would use, in hit point, you would use this for part of the checking on it. All right, now on the health and all these parts, none of this is specific, like the hit points. This is specific to the, the actual tile, not to the bullet. So if you had an item that you just wanted to uh, be able to use to apply damage with, then you could use it that way. But it, it would kind of go against how the, the weapon system set up. Um, the other options though when we go down if you want to be able to take hit points you want to be able to destroy the weapon then you could turn on the, the turn off the unlimited health and enable the options for uh, being hurt and to die now this is a standard item so we'll say enable item by default again it's usable the uh, item is a auto pickup and equip 
and then the states for what happens when you get hurt if you don't drop it on die it, the equipped item uh, gets removed all right and then we don't have our enable lock because you can do all eight directions it's going to be separate of holder all right so there is the item animation here I'm going to scroll down here though real quick um, and there are several rolls of uh, rollouts for animations there is a animation attack primary so you have the set of animations that are for using the weapon this way you have a secondary attack which is using the animations this way and this is weapon attack Okay, and then you have along with those, so you have primary attack, um, and basically think of it as use animation, uh, use primary, use secondary. Right? You have weapon animations primary. Now, notice the weapon animation primary. You have everything from ammo, projectiles, um, you have the muzzle flashes, the hit sparks, the shells, um, shell ejection, empty fire, the reloading. So all of these are specific to the primary, so the uh, charge one. So there's going to be a one and a two, primary fire, secondary fire. So all of those are going to be set up so that you can use all the different states available uh, for the weapon. And it's to use the state, meaning you can visually see it. It'll play the animation. You can use all the states without the animations. They're just not going to show anything different. Uh, even like when it goes to a reload, you may reload the weapon, but it may not actually show an animation because there's none for it. Um, it'll just play the whatever previous one was. Okay. So those are the set of animations that we're going to put together. Um, the next uh, video, we'll just walk through what we've done. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, set up these pieces and put in all the parts and pieces for them. So it's going to be these two, these two, and then inside of the item animation, we'll be placing in the base set for the item animation as well, uh, way up here at the top. There we go for item animations. All right, so we'll do that real quick and then we'll get started with the next part.